Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we've got two deals in the uh, the American shop this month. So we've got the special, the uh, the China Duo, twenty seven percent off, which gives you the uh, the PK fifty the P fifty one K and the Mosquito FB twenty six plus thirty days of premium. You don't get any gold with this package, but for thirty thirty nine ninety nine, you get the two planes. So is it a good deal? The second one I'm going to do, which is going to be a follow up video is the, uh, the $21.99 for the FW56, you get 30 days premium and 3,000 gold. So first we'll have a look at the uh, of the Chinese package and see if it's, if it's a good deal or not. So let's have a look, let's call this up. China Duo, are these planes available? So the, uh, the Mosquito and the, uh, and the Mustang, are they actual aircraft you can get at the moment anyway? So let's have a look. Working our way down. No, they're special planes. Ah, oh, there we go. Working our way down. No. No, you got the Metallico and the others, so they're not available. But you're generally looking for tier, tier 7 planes around about £22.94-ish. So between... What's it? Between 20 and £25 or £20, $25, say. So let's get back and have a look at this deal. So you get both of these, both of these planes for thirty. Thirty pounds. Okay, it's it's changed it to uh, to English money. So let's have a look back at the uh, at the centre. So let's call this up. So trying to do basically forty dollars for this package. So forty dollars. Because of the exchange rate, it's worth £30.79. So, we've got an idea of roughly what it's cost. So, we'll have to uh, exchange that because it's, a, it's a, it, they're doing some sort of international thing. So, th then we have a look at the the gold side of it. So, 3,000 gold is, bear with me a second, current price of 3,000 gold is £11.39. So, that's the, the gold. So, £11.39 for that. Then we get the premium account for 30 days. 30 days are 9. So you're looking £20 for those two items. So let's get back to... So £20 worth for those other items. And at the same time, you're getting... So basically, you're looking 10 or £11 worth, or 10 to $15 for these two planes. So are they worth 10 to $15? If you're getting premium time and buying gold anyway, so we know what the gold and the time is worth. Are these planes worth ten to fifteen dollars for the two planes? Tier sevens, ten to fifteen pounds, so or ten to fifteen dollars. So let's have a look at the uh, at the overall detail. So back to the aircraft. What we need to see: what can you get for ten to fifteen dollars? Or 10 to 15 pounds so you're looking the likes of generally coming in from the mustang so tier 5 just about when once you start hitting tier 6 you then start getting towards the uh, the more expensive planes so between the uh, xf4u-1 working your way in to the other planes so it's is it are these planes as good as just one single plane of these or thinking about it as less money if you're looking t two t as if it's two tier fives so are these two tier sevens as good as the tier fives really that's what you're thinking and we know that the higher tier planes have got more earning potential so you're getting two planes which have got the earning potential of or the, the, that cost you as much as two tier five planes with a much bigger credit modifier. So I'm just going to get this uh, this, and we will have a look. I'm going to test out the uh, the China Duo first, and then get the FW56, and we'll see what this is like. So bear with me. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get into uh, into the account and have a look. Okay, we're getting in. Oh, we've got some gold. That's nice. Engage aircraft. Come on, come on, war, come on, get war gaming, get me in. Right, what have we got? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
two premiums, PK, yeah, P51K, okay. Oops, that's a Odin Mortis message board thing. And uh, let's have a look. So, these two Chinese, let's go into the, uh, the Chinese side of things. So the mosquito, oh, that's huge, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> very, very nice. That does look really good. Then the P51. Much smaller, but it looks that does look really nice. So, P51K Mustang. Very nice. So what we're going to do is have a look at... Oh, sorry, I hadn't realised. It's They're not two tier 7s. There's one tier 6 with a mosquito and a tier 7. Got to get that get that right. <clears throat> I, I, I must have... It's my eyesight. I, I, am, I, am, I am mostly blind. Oh, okay. Back to back to this. So let's have a look. Let's get this kitted out for a, uh, a first game, just in case I accidentally uh, click in. So normal fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and control surfaces. Boom. That's in service. Eleven thousand. That's fine. And we will do the same with the uh, the fifty one. Always the same loadout when testing, so they're all up against each other. Always that standard 11,000 for the first game, so we know what they're like as a, a straight comparison. So, what we want to do, compare the basic Mosquito with the Brit... It's going to be on the... Let's have a look. Uh, working our way through. Any on here? Let's check the UK. I thought there were there was a mosquito now mosquito tier 7 working our way through there we go I knew there was one around somewhere both tier 6 survivability the standard one is 380 hit points the new one is 400 the weight goes up by about 400 kilos okay then the guns the guns are better what okay Right, uh, the guns go up by 47. You get the th th the Mespanos and the, uh, the Brownings, but for some reason they're better. Let's have a look. A uh, significant number of mosquitoes were delivered to China at the end of the war, so it's, so it's a later version. That's why it's better. Interesting. So it's the same tier, but it's a, everything's better. Everything's a little bit better according to these so let's have a look rate of climb the standard is 51.5 this is 57 airspeed goes from 441 to 450 dive let's have a look dive 720 goes up to 750 everything is improved so let's have a look at the maneuverability maybe not everything but let's check everything before we say that okay not everything's improved the maneuverability is identical oh dear what a pity never mind so what we've got, it basically, we've got, instead of a mosquito, we've got the Mosquito 26. So let's get into this. So fast moving plane. Let's get into a yeah, first game, test this out, and see, well, the Mosquito, is it worth that amount of money? Is it a good plane? You've got no rear gunner. The guns on the front are good. Oh, oh let's leave the queue. I want to check to see if there are any additional items like rockets or bombs before we get in. I was just thinking, I was thinking, I've normally got rockets. Yes, I know. Odin Mortis, the pleasure of winning. I, I do like winning. And we got the option of both. Ooh, let's check how this changes the abilities of the plane. Get that on, and then we'll mount rockets as well. That does look nice. It doesn't appear to change it in any way. Okay, um, you get, you lose five airspeed because of the uh, the rockets, and everything else is identical with the bombs. So you lose five speed. I think that's definitely worth it, and I'm glad I went back to do that. So, let's get into that battle. Don't forget to put those on, like I almost did. But if we're looking at a slightly upgraded mosquito, the mosquito itself is a ground attack or heavy fighter. Is really nice anyway, so it's it's for this sort of money. I'm I'm hopefully going to be quite impressed. So it's better than the standard mosquito, but the standard mosquito itself feels a little bit underwhelming. Maybe this is going to make the the mosquito twenty six 
what the normal mosquito should be. Let's see. Okay, we're getting in. Let's see what map we're on. I'm six. I'm always excited when there are new planes. Okay, that's where he wants to go. Let's see where airbase and garrison. Let's see which sort of side we're on. And we'll get straight over to that one. Help to capture it. Your allies. Hit the enemy, and we shall win. Okay. Show me what you can do, pilots. Maneuverability seems seems good from side to side. Let's just get in as quick as we can. A bit of ground attack. Guns look focused, concentrated, and ready to rock and roll. A couple of guys coming in. Let's try and take down some of these. This air power. That's looking good. Okay, the mobility is really neat. It's time. Oh, I was, about, I was about to line up. He's, he's... Oops. Oh, silly bear. Watch out for buildings. I was just focusing on getting the rockets off. Oh, shucks. Oops. Let's get in. Oh, goodness. Even I make mistakes sometimes. Oh. Right, so I fired off a few rockets. The bombs are gone. And we've got that area. Let's give the guys a hand down here. That's already taken. The bombs look like they're refilling pretty quickly. So let's get into the... It's the middle. Now we're doing 600 kilometers an hour. It doesn't feel like you're going that fast, but that's a pretty uh, good rate of speed. Really, really good. A large enemy force is attacking the military Get the base. rockets in there. With oh, let's help out. In a way, I've, I've just got to get used to this. It's almost a little bit too fast. Okay, that's that out of the way. Let's do the next one. Someone on my tail. Let's try and get through. Let's try and ditch him. Oh, come on. I'm... Oh. Little badger. just feels like a regular Mustang. Well, only it's just that little bit better. We're capturing everything. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in on my own, but we'd already ca captured the other zones. We're doing so well. Let's get this sorted. Apart from my useless performance, I think this is probably one of the worst games I have ever played in my entire life. So... You know my normal videos, and I'm, I'm, right now I'm thinking, Gaming Bear, Gaming Bear, what are you doing? <laughs> but the plane itself is pretty good. So let's uh, let's get down here, deal with some enemy, and I'm going to try not to crash in the deck. That would leave a mark. Oh dear. But for these two planes, this on its own is... is you know, ten, ten pounds worth of plane? Is it worth ten pounds? I would say, well, it's got to be, hasn't it? Is that out the way? Let's get in to kill some of the, some of these on the way through. Cool. I'm. I am flying it a bit close to the uh, to the ground, really. So let's get let's line up, get in for a bombing run. Let's boost and get ready to drop these bombs. Bombs target. away. Enemy the are ours. Oh we yes. The enemy A bomb straight in the middle really, really helps. But let's try and get away. No, couldn't do it. But the bombs are really, really good. Just us going in like that, dropping the bombs on it. We've just taken it out. One run like that and you control an area. Let's get in again. I just wanted to try and show you what what we can do 
so we'll go in for that last zone, try and help the team win. If it wasn't a good plane, let's see how we're looking. So, only 1600, better than some. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's try and boost over, assist the team, wait for the rockets, there we go, and the bombs to arrive. Hopefully we can just completely unload when we get there. But looking at it, we're doing 637 kilometers an hour. I'm boosting, and this just got a huge boost. This can cover the area really, really fast. And it's it's unnervingly fast that it's actually quite difficult to uh, to get used to. And I'm, I'm having problems, so I'm, I'm gonna have to try and slow it down more to a more normal speed because the speed of this is strikingly fast and so one downside i would say is it might take you a little while to get used to the speed and i think it's going to take me a game or two to get used to the speed but i've got another plane to to do so after this so this is looking at the at the deal and what i want to do is just show you what the uh, what the deal is like say whether it's worth it and it's now trying to slow things down. Now we're closer to target. A couple of rockets into there at the same time. One into there. Take that out and the way through. A lot of damage. You know, it's it it's a good plane. It's it's a really good plane. Apart from when you don't like go into there to boost it up a little bit. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. Rocket the into there. That's it. Let's get get in and take this anti-air out. Okay, aiming at a target that close, the rockets need a bit of help. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. Let's try and take some of these out on the way through. In towards that, that's it. And let's just up we go. We're being followed by a couple of planes. I'm going to try and get away. Dive, dive, dive. Let's get a... Drop a couple of bombs, try and take them out from behind me. But boosting away, trying to get away, and he's turned and you've got away. So the, the the speed that you can do is enough to get away. Only just, but enough to get away. So that's one thing you... As you've got no rear gunner, you've got to use your speed to get away. And I'm coming back. Gaming Bear is coming. Gaming Bear always comes back. Gaming Bear will never surrender. Let's boost up high. How we're we looking numbers wise. 2,600. Pretty pants for my normal sort of thing. Let's try and. Oh! 3,600 points. Ah. Uh, I would have hoped for five or 6,000 points. But it is what it is. So it's. I would say. That's, well, let's get back and have a quick look. The plane itself. I've heard a number of people saying it's a bit underwhelming because certain things just don't quite fit together. Credit earning, 36,000 credits. Not bad, you know, it's a, it's a nice number. For a tier 6 plane, yeah, that's that's quite a good quite a good figure. But it's a whole new line. So it's leading me to think that as they're putting in more more planes on the Chinese line, it's going to start it's got these already. Plus these additional ones, which are, are just coming out, I think that that they're going to be focused. There, there will be a whole Chinese tree, and then you'll have your pilots training, getting ready to rumble. So as a mosquito, it's a better mosquito than standard, but the mosquito is a tricky beast to uh, to learn to uh, to fly. But you can do it. I haven't done it yet, and I'm going to have to learn. But it can be done, and when you I think this has got the potential of being quite a good uh, quite a good plane but it's going to be a bit finicky so is this worth ten dollars or fifteen dollars on its own possibly I would say five to ten 
So we've got something that's worth 5 to 10. And so the PK-51 needs to be worth 5 to 10 as well to make this package worth, worth the value. So what we do, get into this, check the, this against the... Uh, so the P-51, Mustang, let's get in to the tech tree, UK line, no, sp let's double check, P-51A, tier 7, let's go for, okay, there we go, cool, go to the, that's the one we wanted. P51D, and we'll do a straight comparison on how these are compared. So survivability, it's more, it's, it's better. Let's have a look. So a Dallas-built version of the P51. After the war, it was exported to various countries. It served with the Chinese National Forces. 1,500 aircraft were built. Right, very nice. So more survivability. It's got more weight, more hit points. Like the other Chinese variant, both very similar. And what? Wow. Okay, uh, I can see straight away the P-51D is a re is a good plane, really good plane that's at that tier. But this has got two more guns. You've got six, so so instead of having 192 basic armament, this has got 334. That straight away smacks in my face. Going gaming bear, gaming bear. Look at this, look at this. So then airspeed, it's up by about 42 points. Now why? What is the difference? So the speed is up by 21. Then the rate of climb increases to uh, to 55, so 10% increase. Very nice. We then have a maximum dive going from 850 to 900. Stall speed is the same at 160. Okay, so we've got that. And then maneuverability, I can see already has changed. So it goes from 10.9 to 10.8. It's, it's, it's a nicer version than the standard standard plane so let's make sure we got everything in that's all set up ready to go any upgrades no upgrades check this time so without further ado let's get in and test this and see what it's like can i not muck it up like i did with the last one so coming out with what was it th about three three and a half thousand points in the last one let's see what we can do this well you know that's that's okay, but we'll see what the P-51K can do instead. Okay, cold skies, northern bridgehead. Let's see where we end up. So we're this spawn point, you're a fighter, so you want to get to, to maximize things. You want to get into the action. So forward central airstrip, battle Attention. with other fighters. The zone controlled by the enemy. Okay, and we'll see just what it's like. I'm just excited. I just can't wait to get in. They want to go there. It's not. That's not my bag, baby. Airfield in the centre. I want to see what this is like as a dogfighter. I know it Pilot, should probably. Oh. Let's go. Okay. I don't like talking over people. So I'm going to boost up as high as possible. So get up to the height, the, whatever height we can, and. Then uh, just get into the battle. See what this is like in a dogfight. It's got a nice ceiling, so that 2200 meters. It's still accelerating very nice. That additional 10% acceleration is very useful. Now we're coming to the edge. Now that's when I circle around, look for targets, look for people to kill, and see what we can do. through, try and come round. It's very solid. We've taken over the forward airfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's got its own style. <laughs> Let's boost out of here, get a bit of speed, try and get a away. Okay, it's four five hundred meters behind. Let's spin round, come in on him. Be advised, the enemy is concentrating forces. Okay, 
Okay, that now that's a Spitfire. Anyone taking on a Spitfire is not doing a bad job, you know? Let's get in this way, try and get a bit of distance between him and us. Okay, let's boost and spin round. Come in behind. I've got that Spitfire who's coming in behind me. Oh! Too many of them. But if it had been a one on one or a one on two, because you can see I was up against three of them, I think if it had only been two, another two at that point, I could have t I could have taken them in this. It's got the potential, and that's without any any equipment. So thirteen hundred and seventy five to start off. Let's get straight in. Let's get into the centre. Let's get up to uh, to height and come and seal. Come and assist. Engage them immediately. Okay, let's see what this is like. Let's get in, try and assist with the anti-air. As as I know it's a good fighter, because it feels good already. I want to get in and assist with the uh, the planes that are coming in. We've got someone coming in from the enemy. Stay at height. We're getting ready to, uh, to zoom in. There we go. Okay, IL-10. Let's come in on him. Bit of boom and zoom. Boost up, boost up. Up, circle round. Come in on top. Boost out, repeat. And he's gone. Okay, cool. The boom and zoom, using that technique is pretty nice. Working well. So let's work out. We've got planes incoming. Let's see what it's like as an interceptor. The battle itself, normally I would be going in and dogfighting in the areas, but I want to demonstrate what this can do. So I'm going to go in. The command ready centers are under our control. Communication with the headquarters established. Why, thank you. And see what this is like at taking out other planes. Now, so far, we're at 292 points. Let's get up to, uh, to operating height. Aim at the front one first. Let's turn in on him. Take the edge one out first. Let's see what we can do about chewing through these guys. And it seems to be chewing very nicely. And let's go for the next guy. Try and get some side shots. Try and uh, perforate a fuel tank or something. Cool, he's gone. Let's spin round, come back under, get a little bit of distance, circle round, and come in on him, and he's gone. I've got one there, let's try and get in on him. Let's try and chase him down. What's this like as a, as a pursuit craft? And those beat the, the, the 109 is actually really. Now we're gaining on him. It's a good pursuit craft as well. Really nice. Let's get past, zoom the other way. Oh! <laughs> now that was. A Spitfire, we were able to turn as quickly as a Spitfire. I, I know it's me flying it. The um, It's supposedly two seconds slower. To the complex eliminated. Way to go. The Brilliant. Enemy has taken over the command center. 5,045. 5,045 points so far. Now, normally, if you're in a Mustang or something like that, um, the stats say that it shouldn't be able to uh, to outturn, or at least comparatively 
turn turn the same as a Spitfire. Let's get in. But uh, I know it's me flying it, so I was able to to match a Spitfire in the turn. And, and the only way he could take... He realised the only way he could take me down was to ram me. Now, what does that say about how good a plane is? We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. Let's take him out. These guns are fantastic. This is overpowered. Um, the £15 for this alone is worth it. The, it. It's overpowered. Get this, because you may not see it again. Let's take the, uh, the Charlie at the side. The, these MGs are something else, they really are. As a pursuit craft, it's it's exceptional. Um yeah, it's you say, is it good enough? This plane on its own is good enough with the rest of the deal. It doesn't matter about the uh, that other plane. This on its own. So I'm going to pause and we'll have a look at it. The, the, the Mosquito on its own is okay. Is it worth the whole deal? No, it's not quite. But throwing this in... Well, th well this, is, this is the main reason for it. Now we'll have a look and see how many credits we've got, how much experience we've got. And th this is the real plane that the deal is all about. And looking at things, uh, you can see that I've, d I've done 6,000 points. At second, second out of everybody in both the teams. Inclu even now, with the, yeah, the A7M up at the top. So, it's done really well. So let's get back and have a look at those post-game stats. I'm and we won. Seven thousand six hundred and seventy-five points, first class, couple of, of awards. Let's see how much this uh, this actually makes. But that is really good. This is a is a fifteen pound plane on its own. A hundred and twenty-four thousand credits. Whoa. Um, just yes, absolutely yes. So seven thousand six hundred and seventy-five points. It's, it's an exceptional plane. The whole deal, on its own, would be worth it just for this plane. Can you imagine, if you put some equipment on this, what it would be like? Or with a pilot who's got some experience and knows what, is, what he's doing? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fighter. Quite exceptional that I was able to outturn or, or at least match a, a, sp a Spitfire at the same tier. To be able to do that, you're not doing far. You're not doing badly at all. So, P51K and the Mosquito 26. Is it worth the price? Definitely. But mostly for this plane. The rest of it is pretty well. For this plane, I would I would say this is worth 25. Is it so good? I would say it's probably worth 25 to 30 pounds or 25 to 30 dollars on its own because it is that good. It's exceptional and this is, this is one of the planes everyone's going to be saying, oh I wish I had one of those. Well if you get this package you will have. <laughs> I don't know if you agree, put in the comments, but have, just having played this, you see what it's like and that's without equipment. So it's a big thumbs up, big lots of paws up from the bear. And to get something this exceptional, I've got to say the deal, the whole w works, is got to be a quadruple pause. But 
because of this plane, of how overpowered it is. It's a quadruple pause. It's one of only two quadruple pause I've ever given out. So this is one of the top two premium planes that I have ever flown in World of Warplanes. And the, so, so the deal itself is not just about the planes. Well, not, not just about the deal of what you get. It's about how exceptional this plane is. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Gaming Bear. And yes, definitely, it's worth it.